Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. There's, there's, there's one thing I can say about the KSM show, if I should say, if I should say so myself, is celebrating Ghanaian ingenuity, man. Show some love for that. Man. You know, the, 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 core, the core thing of, my, of what I do is to look out for Ghanaians, especially the youth who are doing amazing things, and we celebrate them so that we can elevate them and the more we elevate our youth, the more we give to our nation, Ghana. Now, I'm going to be talking about these two young men who have come up with an amazing application. They have used Excel, the Excel program, Microsoft Word Excel, to develop an application which you can use to monitor election results, man. Show some love for that. Man. <laughs> no, no, you know, normally we'll sit down, we'll start thinking, oh, shall we go to China or the US and get some amazing imported technology? These guys sitting right here in Ghana have done that. And this, this application, this technology is so simple to use, but it is so accurate, it can give you the election results, it can show you in terms of graphs, percentages, everything. Just take a quick look at this. Take a quick look at this. If you click on this button, it will bring up a drop-down list, presidential and parliamentary. When you click on the presidential, for instance, the pictures and the results of the various parliamentary candidates would show if we have entered results of the candidates at the polling station page. When you move to the bar chart section, Nothing is showing here because we have not entered any results. We also have a section which shows total ballot cast. Now, let's click the polling station button and check out the polling station page. At the polling station page, we have the constituency name. In this example, we are using Awutu Senya East. Right under the constituency name, we have electoral areas, EA. For example, Udukpankwe Zongo is an electoral area under the Awutu Senya constituency with 12 polling stations. We have used colors to indicate different electoral areas and their corresponding polling stations. We have two sections. We have one for presidential and another one for parliamentary. Now, let's click the dashboard again to go back. Total votes for each candidate is zero. Now, the percentage column is blank and the bar chart section is also blank. Now, let's click the polling station button and enter some fictional results as an example. The results that we are entering are fictional. They have nothing to do with real election results. We are using this as an example. After entering the results, let's go back to the dashboard and see results. This is for the parliamentary. The percentages are now showing. Now, Let's click the button for the presidential results. In the case of the presidential results, different candidate is leading. Now you can go back, click, and see the results for the parliamentary or presidential as many times as you want. Thank you for watching. Just a, that's just a little bit of it before I talk to them. So let me introduce them. And they are both going to come and join me on the set. The first one is Mr. Intim Indosu. <laughs> Intim, welcome to the show. Well, well, I'll tell you more about the team. Okay. And Intim, introduce your, the other one for me. Okay. I'm here with a friend. And we met way back in school. He's called Uche uh, Domi Put your hands together for him. 
OK, 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 OK. All right. Well, they are here in the house. We're going to talk to these young men, man. Charlie, these guys, they have something great coming, man. Stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> The KSM Show. <laughs> uh, we are back. And uh, we, we, today we are talking about this application, this Microsoft uh, uh, Excel application that you can use that can give you election results accurately so that we don't go to court because the pinches will be in front of us. <laughs> anyway, that's by the way. So uh, you are with our Greek, you are with chemistry. But Excel brings you together, and you become IT specialist. And so let me and let, so you decide you should do something for elections, and then what happens? Way back, we decided we'd do something for the election, but somehow the motivation to do it wasn't there. And then we all went on doing our own things, and then I was still doing my manufacturing thing. I don't want to let go of the manufacturing because I believe it has 10 nations around, and so if we take it on as a country, it can help us grow, and I'm always passionate about that subject area. When it's mentioned, I want to help introduce that into our educational system and all that. So we're doing it one day, then the idea came, let's try to do this. But prior to that, I've had some interesting experiences with Excel. Maybe I don't want to mention it, but somehow I will touch on it. Because we are looking for funds to grow business. It's not there. Then I used to have my father have Lotto paper in front of him, huge mathematical data. He wants to predict Lotto results. And I say how? But sometimes he does it and he gets right and he wants. Okay, then let me use Excel to model how to predict Lotto results. So, so you did that. I started using Excel to model it, and coincidentally, I bought huge enormous amount of experience. I can write mathematical expressions weigh about 30 million characters, and then I want to feed into Excel, and Excel will even take it. So we're doing it, and the experiences were enormous. So I decided, come on, the time is short, but this election thing, let me do it. And the experience was enough for me to, within a week, come out with something magical, wow. basically. Now, this didn't come for me alone, because always in team will be there, and we'll be consulting him. So how do we do this part? And then we'll be doing the thing together, basically. So, so exactly what does this thing do now for the elections? We talked about it in the beginning a little bit, but exactly what does this thing do? What, what, have you, what have you put together now? Yes, what we have put together is very simple. We know a lot of Ghanaians are not into IT. Our educational levels are a little bit low. So we have a simple interface, about three buttons to click, and then you have an idea about what will happen. Now, it will calculate the percentages of the total ballot cast for each candidate. The total ballot obtained by each candidate will also be there. The graphical representation will be there. Now, what we do is back the sheet we have coded that will do all these calculations so that you don't have to think about using calculators and all that. Anybody can easily use it. Now, we realize EC have names of Pulling stations, just group them into electoral areas. So we just put this together, background. So when the election results come in, just feed it. So within two, three hours, you are aware about which candidate is winning or that. It's a very simple to, software that can be used by anybody, less education, and it works magic accurately. Show some love, man. Show some love. <laughs> so, so, so basically, let's say I have the equipment. Yeah, how do I use it? I'm sitting down listening to the exchange results and I'm feeding it in. Yes. So but if the results have come already, then what am I feeding in? What, what, so what? what we have done is, is constituency specific for each constituency. So let's say you want to know the results of uh, a Utu Senya East constituency. Then you have something on somebody on the ground, like they have uh, each uh, uh, the political parties, party. the political parties, they are supposed to have. Uh, representative at each polling station. Mm -hmm. So uh, right from the polling station, there's somebody who is representing a political party can give you the results. So the EC uh, representative there will publish the results right at the polling station. So after that, the person will call you, give you the results, and then you put it in. 
after you put it in then uh, the others uh, our software will do the rest for you the rest being what yeah, the sun i will speak yes. about this um an our guy but because i screwed in ashanti when you let me speak a little bit tree mean tia say say beto aba wie ne ye kokot we would do no cry won't tia say ye hwen ni say ye to aba no police station ho elections are carried out there resources are also declared there so we should be able to tell who won without going to court but what is happening is because there are different polling stations and these results will have to be collated at a place, there could be mistakes when punching with calculators and all that to look at the total sum each candidate got. There could be mistakes and this violence can come. This is what I got, you are cheating me and all that. So we stop. Okay, let's just bring up this simple idea where these political parties already have structures in place in terms of they have polling station agents that they have sent. All of them, they have them. So when the results are declared at the polling station, just give it to somebody in charge to just feed it into the application. And you have the full idea about at least who is leading. For now, legal issues will regard it as a provisional resource at that time. Mm -hmm. And then we will just be waiting for EC to declare it just as it is. So for me, using the software, I am feeding in the various polling stations and I'm getting the overall picture. Is that what you're saying? That is it. That somebody else isn't having. Yeah. Basically. That's the advantage you have. Basically. And it's so easy to use. You don't need any special training to use it. All that you do is put in the values and the machine, the software will do the rest for you. You will see the results, the percentages of each candidate. You will see the total results, like the figures that they have, and then the total ballot cast. You will see everything. The machine will, uh, the, yeah, will give calculate all of that for, that, you. that for you. So if you want the statistics, then you have it. If you just want who is leading, then, then you have it. It's that simple. I see, I see. So, so I, I just want to get to the, the crux of the thing, so that if I have the machine or any radio station, television station, anybody has the machine, and they are getting all the various results from the different constituencies. They can be feeding the results, and the machine will be calculating everything. everything. The national picture, they'll be seeing the national picture. Yes, of course. Now, wow. it's, it's very simple. We have two, as I said earlier on, we have just two kind of buttons to click. One for presidential, and then one for parliamentary. Now, immediately you click on the presidential one, it will load their pictures, it will load their names, every detail comes. Now, we consider those who are not educated, so we use their logos to even represent the bus. Yeah. So you can tell, wow, that is this PPP winning, back. yes. He can tell that is, oh, PNC winning, that is, please, Mr. Yarrigas party winning. <laughs> you can see without even going to school. Wow. So it's a very simple thing and wow. can do magic. Wow. Show some love for that, man. I mean... Have you had anybody look at it and say, Charlie, I endorse this machine and, and I'm going to use this machine? Yes, I've tried marketing it. I've moved to offices. I went to um, Honorable um, Baba Jama's office. He looked at this. Wow, this is simple, easy, fantastic. Apart from that, I've gone to offices and they all like it. I showed it to my mentor, Mr. Pierre Mika. He said, wow, let me introduce you to Mr. McManus. Let me do this. Wow. They all, yes. Wow. Wow. Show them for love, man. So, so for, for anybody who is interested, how can they contact you? Uh, into? Well, they, they can, when they get to, uh, they can contact us through SAFA. We can handle them and we will also put our numbers out there. If they contact us, then we can talk about this. Okay. So, so leave your numbers so that if anybody who is interested in contacting you, you can be reached on? 0276. Six five four eight six eight. Okay. You can also follow me on Twitter. There is in Tim Judy Solomon. Then you, 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 you can follow me and then we talk. Fantastic. And you? Let, let me touch on this before we, we, we leave. I think that this is just a midnight kind of job we do. We all go on our daily jobs. When we meet at night, then we decide to crack on the computer, try to come out with something. We have done management platforms for churches, for manufacturing firms, for stores, inventory, so that it can make business easy. If you want something like that, you can just describe the challenges you have in your business, and we can just model you craft something, something for them? simple for, for you. Fantastic. So I will say, if you want to contact me about any of these issues, my number is 
0207. I'll take it again, 024-715-7707. Shots of love, man. And the numbers are on your screen. And uh, they can give you, they can develop any, any product for you. Once you give them what you're looking for, they can design any uh, product for you on Excel using, uh, is it a spreadsheet? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and uh, Excel. Okay, and so this thing about elections, I think, is very, very timely and very, very important. So all you radio stations, TV stations, political parties, anybody who's interested in paying close attention and monitoring in the EC, in the EC, EC, yeah. EC uh, get in touch with them, and let's take it from there. Show them some love one more time, and stick around. We'll be right back. If you reach for that remote, I will bite you. The KSM Show will be right back. KSM Show.